Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to interpret the slope for two quantitative variables, remember, and we're talking about it specifically for a simple linear regression. So there's a generic way to interpret slope. So you would say for every one unit increase in the x variable, where well, remember the x variable is the explanatory variable and is located on the horizontal axis, then you'd say we expect the y variable to increase or decrease depending on the sign of your slope. And then you would say by whatever the numeric value is for the slope, as well as the units. So things that are underlined twice are things that will always be used or terms that will always be used. What's underlined in orange is what's specific to the x variable. And then what's underlined in blue is going to be what's specific to the y variable. Now, remember that whatever you say increase or decrease depends on the sign of the slope. So if you have a positive slope, you would say increase. And if you have a negative slope, you would say decrease. Now, some students struggle with this, but would you ever say if you had a negative slope that it decreases by some negative slope number? What would you think? You would not say that because then it negates itself and it would become an increase. So here's the example we're going to look at. It's speed in miles per hour and stopping distance in feet for 50 cars. You can see that this is a fairly tight pattern and it's linear. Here is the uh, output from R for the linear model. So we have y hat, which remembers the predicted value of y. And then we have a slope of negative 17.579. Plus, and we have, or excuse me, we have a y-intercept of negative 17.579, and then our slope is a positive 3.932x. So x, remember, is going to be whatever the value is for speed, and we are predicting distance to stop. So here, for every one in our unit for the x variable, the explanatory variable, which is speed, so for every one mile per hour increase, in speed, we expect, and then we'll state the y variable or the response variable, which here was distance to stop. So stopping distance to, and now because the slope was positive, we're going to say increase. And then by, and our slope value is 3.932, and the units for that was feet. So this is a look at how to interpret slope specific for speed and stopping distance, remembering to include units. Hopefully this is helpful. See you in future videos.